I am out here in the streets of Los Angeles, in particular Melrose Avenue, to try and hunt down some thrifted sneakers, maybe some vintage tees, just stuff that we can bring back home and flip onto eBay for a profit. But there's one big advantage that we get as Australians when we come over here looking for this sort of stuff. I'm gonna speak to you about that a little bit later in this video. All right, guys, I've made my way into Buffalo Exchange. Now, this is a consignment store, and if you're unfamiliar with what that refers to, it's basically just people off the street uh, taking their goods into this store, they buy it, and then they try to resell it for a profit. They're ultimately doing what I'm trying to do, which makes it really hard to try and find ourselves a profit in here, but there is some opportunity, don't worry about that. This one here was the first one I like the look of, it was a $50 USD sale price. Goes into about 75 Australian, about 100 for me to sell it back home. Um, so there's just not enough profit in that one. Very similar story with these 98s. Uh, they were selling for about $70 Australian. They convert into about 100 back home. Not enough wiggle room. These though were a different story. We've got a pair of uh, really cool Jordan mids here. Uh, the Jordan 1s are $40 US in store. That's about $65 back home. And as you can see here, there's plenty of comps going between $130 to $150. So a cool little pick up there with the shoes. I moved across into the t-shirts. I like the look of this Space Jam tee tie-dye. Uh, $15 though, a little bit steep. And this Balenciaga Tampa Bay Buccaneers collaboration. Uh, look, $18.50 worth of a sale price on that one. I had to leave it behind. Thought these were cool. Reebok, $65, super steep, but a very cool colorway on those. So I spent about an hour in here all up, to be honest with you guys, and I actually only came away with the one pair of Jordans. Jordan 1 mids, first buy of the day. I'm pretty stoked about this, guys. Um, these things, obviously a US size 10 as well, I was pretty excited about. I had to crunch the numbers though. $40 purchase price, uh, that ends up being $43 after taxes. You've always got to account for the LA taxes that go on top of the sale price. Um, so yeah, 43 bucks in my dollars, that's about $60 Australian. I think we can flip these things for about $130 back home in Australia. So when you do the conversions, you take out shipping, you take out fees, I reckon we're gonna make about $50 in profit. So that was a wicked purchase, a sell through rate on these things on eBay, through the roof. This one won't take long to sell at all. All right, so the huge advantage that I've got over here as an Australian is basically relating to supply and demand. There is so much demand for these sorts of items that you see here, a Shaq and Kobe tea, for instance, all of this sort of merchandise, these vintage items, um, you, you see an abundance over here in America, but back home in Australia, we are hunting for this stuff and we want this stuff, but we just don't get the ease of access to find it. So I know that if I buy a lot over here in America, bring it back home, I'm gonna be able to get a really quick sale price and a very good sale price, certainly more than what I can pick it up for in the US. So for the two weeks that I'm over here running around, I'm really trying to basically capitalize on supply and demand. All of these tees that you're seeing here, unreal. The price of four for 100 was $25 US each. Uh, and for that reason, it was just a little bit steep for me on this occasion, but still pretty cool to see. Man, so tempting, four for $100, uh, basically 25 each, but with my conversion rate, that's actually more like 35 each. Um, so I couldn't really cop that, um, at least at this point of the trip. I might come back a little later on. Um, I've got another couple of days here in LA uh, at the end of the trip. But um, yeah, we're here to flip items. We're here to make money, not spend it. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. So things started to pick up a little bit in this store here, New Friend Vintage. It's actually my favorite store on Melrose. I bought a lot in here last year and I was able to buy a few things this time around as well. They had these open bales, which seemed to be very different from any of the other thrift stores on the street. And they were only pricing all of these tees up for $10 a piece. Now, if you're an American watching this video, you're probably thinking, yep, that's only worth $10. But as I spoke of before relating to supply and demand, 
Uh, these are going to go on to sell, in my opinion, pretty well. I'm always looking for this sort of stuff here, which is the, the basically the US sporting merchandise. It always does well for me. It's personally even what I'm just personally interested in myself. Um, but then also too, Disney stuff sells incredibly well back home in Australia. So one thing that I really wanted to highlight in this video, one, for the Aussies that are watching this, there is a huge amount of opportunity on eBay. If you can try and find wholesale opportunities with anyone in America um, to bring across this sort of stuff back home, and if you can work on the postage rates uh, being in your favor to be able to allow you to make some profit, you're gonna know that it's gonna go on to sell really well. And if you're an American um, and you're, you're getting these opportunities to see these sorts of items out in the Goodwill bins and all the different various thrift store locations that you guys have, I highly recommend that you, you consider the purchase not for a domestic sale, but an international sale for someone like me back in Australia that might be happy to pay $35, $40, which I think is what these sorts of items would sell for. So grabbed a few items, pretty cool. So nothing too crazy in that one, guys. Uh, just picked up those three tees. That Super Bowl tee is gonna be pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I think that was definitely the pick of them, that Super Bowl champions, Pittsburgh Steelers. We've got a little advantage here because they're only $10, which is $13 Australian, and I reckon I can turn this one into about $40, something like that. So there's definitely gonna be some profit, but not a heap of it. It's really hard on this street because they are quite high prices. You're talking $30 to $50 US um, to try and pick up a vintage tea. And while they do go for a little bit more in Australia, after fees and posts, there's not really too much wiggle room, apart from small stuff like this. So there's another new friend vintage just up the road and uh, they've got another $10 bale as well. So I'm gonna keep having a dig to try and find these $10 tees. Uh, so yeah, three tees, $32, around about 40 bucks Aussie. We can try and convert that into about maybe $90 Aussie. Um, it'll leave us with about 20 to $30 worth of profit, which isn't the end of the world. How cool is this artwork around here though, hey? Epic. So it wasn't long before I found myself back in the second New Friend Vintage store just up the road. And as you can see here, we've got another couple of sets of bales. I really love the look of this, this Make America Great Again, uh, Donald Trump tea, Hillary Clinton there as well. That was pretty sweet. Well, I'm heading out. That was a pretty cool SpongeBob tea too. So a lot to pick from here, but I found myself back in the sports section and I was picking the sports category tea. So this Sunday night football, Broncos Chargers. Uh, this was actually a double-sided print as well. Uh, 2XL in size, uh, who wants it more, winner takes all, I really like that. Um, nothing too crazy about that, it was just a standard um, weekend game, it wasn't even a big Super Bowl game or anything like that. Pro weight tag, that's nothing for too fancy either, you don't need to get excited about that, but um, for us, we don't have pro delta weight tags back in Australia, so just American gear does well, size extra large, Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl, um, that's enough for me to go ahead and say yes for $15 Australian. Um, just a little bit uh, different, uh, I found this one as well, this Snoopy T. I just really like the look of that one, so I went ahead and grabbed that as well. Um, so what was that? Maybe three tees that I ended up picking up there. Um, slowly building things up, but this was an awesome find. This was a pair of Jordan 5s. Um, I found these, and these are the actual alternate Bel Air edition of the colorway. So um, Jordans sell very well for us back home in Australia, and I was actually really quite, quite surprised. Uh, to see that these shoes had a $47.50 price tag on them. So given the condition, um, you know, I could I could match them up onto eBay to be worth anywhere around $180 to $200. I'm actually gonna list these up for $220. They were just a very cool pair of shoes at a great price. Kind of kicking myself that I didn't uh, ask the question around their bales. They were selling wholesale bales of 100 pounds um, full of vintage tees. And uh, I, I, I didn't ask because I just thought the postage to Australia was just gonna be too heavy, but I think it's worth you guys checking out if you want to get into this sort of thing and start selling some American vintage tees. Um, New Friend Vintage could be a really good answer for you guys. Um, worth checking out their website, having a look at their numbers um, and see if it can't be profitable for you. It's obviously a huge expense to make your way over to the US like I have. Uh, so this could, be an, this could be an answer for you. Oh, all right guys, we just got home. I'm doing a lot of walking. The step count's up to about 15,000. It's been pretty crazy, but um, look, cool stuff today. Loved getting into Melrose Avenue yet again. Um, I went last year, had a lot of fun. Went again this year, continued to have a lot of fun. Could have bought so much stuff for the personal. Um, ended up coming away with these eight items, which I all think are gonna go on to sell really well. I know that they're in-demand items for us 
back home in Australia, albeit I did need to pay a little bit more than I thought I would here in the US. So having a look at these numbers and breaking it down for you to give an expectation of what I believe I can make from it, First of all, in Australian dollars, we spent 150 bucks on these two pairs of shoes. Now, $100 was spent on all of these t-shirts in Aussie. So Aussie dollars, we spent 250 bucks. Um, I believe that we can resell it for 500 Australian dollars. And when you take out the shipping, which is around about $80 to send it all off if they were all to sell individually, um, and you take out the fees and the $250 that we obviously spent, it's gonna leave us with about $100 worth of expected profit. Now, it's obviously a, a large expense in the sense of $250, but I think in this scenario, I'm happy to spend it because I know the sell-through rate is gonna be really quick. These sorts of items are gonna be very much in demand and I can even make a little bit more money for myself if I was to sell it to you guys and I didn't need to put it onto eBay. So if you're interested, shoot me a note on Instagram. Any single one of these items is up for grabs. I'm not holding onto any of it myself. Um, and I'd be more than happy to sell it to you guys, knock a little bit off the price um, to save on the eBay fees and to give you guys a slightly better deal. But a lot of fun today, this was epic. These are the sorts of things that I love to source and to be able to run around Melrose Ave today and locate all this stuff for enough to even make a profit on, I'm absolutely pumped.